Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Also not... <laughs> okay. Good luck. Also let me reduce the volume of the app. So our opponent prefers 4th file, Rook. Uh, this could be interesting. This could be very interesting depending on how the opponent plays it. Um, yep. Interest levels soar. Now, I don't know what to do about this situation. I'm not certain what to do. Uh, let's lift this pawn. The opponent's blocked their defense of this bishop. Okay. We are playing provocatively today, it seems. All right. Probably there's a trap somewhere that I could have set and failed to set. Um, so back into more normal-ish space we go. Now, this is loose, and that's almost loose. <sighs> Let the provocative moves continue. I defend this square in an aggressive fashion. I take a pawn. Okay. We didn't have to go this way. Um, I accept this exchange offer. Because I think I profit from it. So I defend this pawn back here. Oh crap, I forgot about that. Alright, fine. I gave you a free tempo. Oh. Um, there are no tech backs on this website. Did I consider bishop 3-3? Three, three? Let me think about that. I mean, I guess maybe I did. Hey, look. You blocked by proverb. My proverb says, entice the gold diagonally forward. And my bishop drop did just that. But uh, our opponent did not fall. Anybody makes mouse slips. I'm poking, thanks for the game. I'm poking a little bit of fun because I get frustrated a little bit about losing on time, which is almost entirely my fault. But I would like the website to offer more time controls that are favorable to everybody, um, not just folks that can play all the moves quickly. Anyway, that was exciting. One game down, two to go. What's our next proverb? Oppose bishop. Good luck. Oppose bishop with bishop. Primitive climbing silver, they say. All right. You got my interest. Let's do this. You know what? <laughs> um, hmm. Fine. I'll continue whistling out here. But y'all know what I want to do. Let's not hang my bishop after that last game. Um... There's only so much drama I can take in one game. Alright, so 
Maybe this protects my bishop. I should know this by now. And I don't. Um... You know, this is kind of the fight I was looking for last game. And we've got it this game, so let's let the let's cast the die and let whatever fall where it may. Oh. Hang on, is that does that work? Um interesting. Like, I'm claiming I don't know how this works, but maybe I actually do. This pawn is loose. I don't have a good way to defend it, but man, I built an initiative. So, what do we do? Do I just push the rook pawn now? Pushing the rook pawn several times looks kind of fun. I can't get the rook across where my gold is standing. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I probably want to not hang this in the midst of everything that happens here. But hanging this might not be the worst fate either. Um, all right, our opponent committed their bishop. That's got to count for something. Uh, let's again defend stuff, and that's my castle. All right, and then we can cut off the opponent's bishop. Mm -hmm. This time the opponent's silver is not on 4-8. So maybe that's the key, is under that condition, I shouldn't be trying something this crazily aggressive. Or... If I do so try something this aggressive, I shouldn't expect it to work. Uh, possible ways to interpret this. Either way, I think this position's fine, but it could have been better. Um, You're right that there are other websites. You know, I wish, though, that... Well, there's so many things I wish. I would gladly try to contribute code to improve other websites if I could. Um, and that's not an empty promise. Like, we can see that I do make contributions at times to try to improve one site in particular. Um, Because there are usability concerns on some me. other sites. Alright, if I drop back... No, if I want to move the bishop so I can move the knight. That's what I'd like to do. I'd also like to trap this bishop, but... There's only so much I can do about that. Um, if I push this, if the bishop ascends, I can chase... It retreats, and then I've lay I've locked my silver in place. So let's just keep moving the silver. Rather than using the pawns to chase, this silver is perfectly fine at chasing. I don't have a pawn to drop. And then a question becomes, is it worth chasing this bishop? Or if or when do I push on this point? Do I move my bishop? I evaluate that every turn. I should just have some ideas to what to do instead of having to every turn come up with a new plan. Um, I could move the gold down, but that would give up this square. I could move the rook down. I don't know what else to do. Rook down it is. So the knight's defended, which defends everything else. Their bishop is trapped. 
And maybe I should take a moment to defend my king before doing anything insane. So. Yep, my attack was not going to prevail here. Continue protecting my king for once. And this might be the wrong occasion. The one time I choose to protect it, it might be a terrible idea. Um, okay, there's a problem here. Oh, there's two problems. One, they've blocked their bishop. But two, they might drop a pawn in front of my silver. So, I don't want to see this bishop on this line. I don't want to open the diagonal to my Go king home. either. So many competing interests. Um, yeah, what the hell, let's try the square. It's not like this bishop can move over. Um, Is this threat to hit the rook an empty threat? I might be making another empty threat. Well, even if it was an empty threat, in my perspective, my opponent did respond. So, maybe not. <laughs> maybe there was something to it. Either way, I seem to have to push here next. Um, so let's push. Oppose a bishop with a bishop was our proverb at the beginning of this game. And now our opponent has gained a pawn, but their bishop is entombed. So, I'm not sure if that actually is considered gaining a pawn, if you can't do anything useful with it. Also, if your opponent's threatening crazy tactics to hit your bishop and rook, also, if your bishop really can... It can hit this pawn, but I don't see their bishop doing anything useful other than hitting this. So, being down a pawn, while it sucks, maybe doesn't suck that much. Wait. Hang on. I was thinking I'd take this and then I nifu. We need a plan B. Something that doesn't involve nifu. I wanted to take here so that um, my bishop's free to move wherever it wants. Um, hmm. Also, silver increases in value as it rushes up the board. At least closer to your opponent's king, it's worth more. Um, so they're threatening this point. Also, hmm. Well, tactics begin, right? Let's defend this point and see what the opponent has in mind. Maybe they're going to push this. Maybe not. Yep, that is a bit more aggressive than what I saw. Um, Something. All right. Let's see what happens next. They promote. I get a knight. A turn ago, I was happy about this. I don't seem quite so happy anymore. Mm -hmm. How does this work? Could you show me? Okay, they take with the bishop. Got it. And then what happens? Oh. Okay. 
2分30秒 OK and then what? Uh, so my bishop's protecting this. If I take with the rook, my rook's gonna be floating for several turns. That's pretty dangerous. Um. Howdy. Nifun. Let's see. I guess I defend my rook and defend my king and build this beautiful ish shape. In which my opponent breaks down immediately. Oh, I've got one and a half minutes. I should maybe play good moves quickly. Um. Hmm. Pardon me if I don't comment for the next five minutes. Nijibio.
10秒時間切れ。Thanks for the game. <sighs> Bishop takes. Still not fast enough, but Bishop takes is the right move there.、Um, all right. Two down, one to go. Still not fast enough. Good luck. It said Urashino style, so guess what I played? Something different. Something where they're not pushing this pawn. At least not without some consequence. Very well. You can do things that way. I don't know this stuff.、Um, shit, I have no idea where I am. Okay. Really? That's interesting. We're going to have ourselves a game here, folks. Let's take a look. Where are we? Yep. Well, for the first half of the game, I care more about trying to play good moves than I care about trying to like, show off that I know how to win it. The first half of the game, I care whether or not I look like an idiot. The second half, I'm like, you know, let's just try to win.、Um, so, here we go. Trying not to look like an idiot. I say, yes, my bishop is hanging. Alright, let's use a knight. Why not? Okay, I assume I just put the knight there, right? Oh. Right, they have a pawn. Well, shit. See, I don't know what to do about that. Um, it seems strange to get hung up on such a little detail, but it seems like an important detail here. <laughs> well, I guess you could abandon this diagonal. I guess, sure. I don't know why you would, but okay. That's fine. That is legal.、Um, pawn drop, rook takes, pawn drop, rook back, silver moves. That wins a tempo. Gives him another pawn, which I really don't care for. But what can I do? I could take this gold. Preparing to move the silver up and bring the rook over. 
I'm afraid something stupid's going to ruin my whole attack. But I just don't see yet what it is that's going to ruin it all. We'll see it once it's too late. All right, show me. Okay, they defend this point. Yeah. One key opponents are good at spotting things. All right, let's just keep using the silver. Uh, there's nothing else I can do other than forward we go. I did not anticipate that. Nanafun. Probably for good reasons. Like, um, I guess I'll take it. That did temporarily slow my attack. And now I have a silver. Yeah. The other thing, even though 1Qs are excellent at spotting things and dealing with them, it, it's difficult to spot everything. So if I just sustain an attack over some duration, and there's some series of coin flips, eventually one of the coin flips has got to turn up in my favor. So we just proceed with this policy of aggression. Um, that said, I don't know which way to take this. Let's take the way that they don't have a fork, although they do have this discovered attack. I'm not as concerned about that. Because my rook's not going to break through on the center file anyway. So now I'm thinking about, like, pushing this, dropping a silver, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Now I could go back. Um... I don't know. Let's try this. Something tells me don't try it, but... Oh wait, gold here, I drop a silver there. And then I could threaten to take this gold. Therefore, if I drop the silver here, they might take it. Therefore, they're not going to pursue this aggressive gold here. They might push it somewhere else, but not here. Or they might drop a pawn. Or that, sure. Um. The hell do I do? I've got a nice position. How do I not ruin it? I mean, I've been pushing the silver up again and again, but it's still not there yet. Go um, If I take here, they drop another pawn. Or they move their gold, so that doesn't do squat. Um, I could exchange pieces here, drop a pawn. They go back, attack the rook again. That's one way forward. Uh, might help them more than it helps me. Alright, let's force the pawn drop. Oh. That this message appeared before I made my move. Um, I assume it's unrelated to the position. And unrelated to anything I've done here. 
as in, I'm giving the opponent credit that they wouldn't just hang up on a game that seems unfavorable. The proverb, I think, is play good moves. And don't lose on time. Thanks for the game. It was an interesting game, truly. Alright, I think that's three games, right? No, that's two games. Yes, that's three games. So, yeah, three for the day. That's not bad. We finished in about a half hour, so record timing. Which is why when I look back over the clock uh, on my live stream, it says 35 minutes since it began. Uh, I was wondering, well, that went really quickly. But either way, hope we enjoyed. I'll take a look at the games afterward. Uh, yeah, so look forward to this weekend, etc. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.